Hi guys, uh, today is Friday, July the 6th, you know, so I hope y'all's Friday has been okay, um, you know, I guess my day's been alright, and, uh, truly just take it a day at a time, guys, and, and realize at this point, the, uh, you know, the Lord's return is imminent, G Jesus, he's coming back any moment to get us, and I believe at this time, we, we've probably pretty much ran out of time, so, you know, the time has probably about expired, and, and, um, so just, just keep standing on your watch post day in, day out, you know, try not to get discouraged, I, you know, some days I get really discouraged, wondering, like, is this truly it, you know, how much more time, you know, how much more of this do we have to go through, but I think this is probably it, guys, and I believe we're getting ready to go home, so just keep following the Lord, every day and um and be content and be happy with the fact that we're, we're going home soon so rest in his promises and realize he is going to deliver us and um you know as usual just you know you know stay in his word stay in constant prayer that's so vital constant prayer and keep walking the narrow path you know i can't stress that enough you know, it's not the easy path by any means. The easy path leads straight to hell. The narrow path, that's a difficult path that leads to eternal life. So stay on the narrow path no, ma no matter, you know, how hard it can be at times. Just stay on that narrow path. We realize it is, it's the path that leads to eternal life. And guys, I did, um, you know, I, I, I want to go ahead and mention this. It was, um, I had a, a, um, awakened vision this morning. And so I don't get those that, that, that often. So awakened vision, it's like, you know, I'm where, where you're fully aware, aware of what you're seeing. So while you're being presented something, you're fully aware of what you're seeing. And it's when you're waking up, you know, versus an open vision, which I don't get those. That's like when you're like wide awake and boom, you all of a sudden you have a vision. I, I don't get open visions, but I'll sometimes get waking visions, like in the process of waking up. And um, the difference with this one, guys, this was unusual. The difference with this waking vision, I, I actually had woken up to the point where I could see everything in my room. So I had my eyes open. I, I literally, I could see everything in my room. I had woken up to the point where I could see the ceiling, the walls, what, you know, everything. I was laying on my back in bed. And so I had woken up to the point where, you know, I could see basically my ceiling and, you know, m my room. And, and at first I thought it might have been a, 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 you know, like an attack because I think I was kind of in that sleep paralysis where I couldn't move. Um, but then it's like I saw, guys, on the ceiling, on the ceiling, this is what I saw. I saw, this is what I saw on the ceiling because I was laying on my back in bed and this is what I saw, a, uh, you know, like an electrical um, outlet, the standard ones you find in in homes in America, a, um, a two a two plug electrical outlet and that this is what was on the ceiling you know I was laying on my back in bed and this is what I saw on the ceiling which does not exist you know you know they don't put these on the ceiling that probably violates you know building codes of all sorts but this is what I saw so in the, the this this awakened vision I literally saw this on the ceiling a um a two plug electrical outlet and so I really, wasn't really going to mention it and let y'all know about it at first, but I believe it's important enough. I started looking into some of the details I wanted to bring it up is it's very interesting because, um, so it was on the ceiling and that's important. So an electrical outlet. So what's an outlet? So basically a point in an electrical circuit from which current may be drawn. So a power outlet, socket, receptacle, power ball power bar um and if you look at the the derivation of the word outlet it's derived from the words out o-u-t and let l-e-t so out out that immediately makes me think of out release you know rapture so also another you know term for outlet electrical outlet some people call them you know socket 
So an electrical device receiving a plug or light bulb to make a connection. So she plugged a toaster into the wall socket. And um, this also goes into, if you remember, I had the dream with the rubbing the ashes on the pieces of cloth. And in, uh, in the kid presented me two um, sockets, the, the sockets you use for uh, car, wor car work, you know, to remove bolts when you're working on cars. Those types of sockets. And so I never mentioned this, but so now I leave with the whole electrical socket on the ceiling. That brings it back up again. And so I'll go in and say it. The derivation of the word socket, if we look here, Middle English, in the sense head of a spear, resembling a plowshare. So head of a spear, resembling a plowshare. So plowshare, that's used to do work. And spear, you know, associated with warfare. And I believe that, that this goes along with, you know, I'm going to be here, you know, I'm going to have work here to do during the, um, you know, the, the, the tribulation, the great tribulation, I'm going to have work here to do. The Lord's shown me that many times. And so I believe that ties into this, the whole, you know, plowshare, head of a spear. And so those were the derivations of the words outlet and socket. And now here was, it, it hit me, guys. I'm like, I, you know, the voltage, guys, guys, check this out. So the voltage, the, 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 the voltage on a, in, in the United States, the standard in the United States is 120 volts in 60 hertz AC, so alternating current. So typically either, um, let's see, 110 or 220. So for, so most of the, 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 the electrical, the, um, you know, the outlets in the American homes, those are going to be the 120 volt. Now they, they do have the 220 for your high voltage appliances for like your, um, dryers and washing machines, stuff like that. But the majority of the, the, the outlets in the American homes are standard 120 volts. So I knew, you know, I needed to look up, you know, the number 120 in the Bible. And this is really interesting guys, as I'm also seeing parallels to the Besides the personal, I'm going to have work to do because what do you do? You plug in a device into a socket, you know, you want that device to run. You want to give it electricity power. You plug it into the socket. The fact the socket was on the ceiling, that represents like, you know, receiving energy, you know, power, you know, getting that from, you know, heaven. So as it was on the ceiling and, um, so I, besides the whole, you know, I'm going to have work to do besides that, the, um, if you, I believe there's actually a, a personal, um, there's more of a, even a wide message there. So there's more of a actual wide message of basically the, um, the, um, I could see potentially a judgment. So judgment hitting guys, as we know, this earth was, um, you know, appointed, you flooded first. No, Noah's, you know, the great flood and, um, next it's reserved for fire. And what is electricity, electricity, high energy? What is a lightning bolt, thunderbolt? If it strikes something, it incinerates, it burns it. So I can see judgment there as in power, thunderbolts, you know, coming from heaven, judgment, fire, um, also, so if we look here, the number 120 can symbolize a divinely appointed time of waiting. So after God saw how sinful and dedicated to evil man had become after the Garden of Eden, he determined a 120 year period would be given for repentance and then the flood waters would come. So judgment. If we keep going, the meaning of the number 120 is seen in its exodus role and Israel left e Egyptian bondage. So a factor of 120 there um in here you know we also find 120 playing a part in the book of revelation in the end time god will save 12,000 from each of the tribes of israel for 144,000 so 120 times 1,200 so that goes into you know personal stuff i'm not going to be discussing in this video um appearances of the number 120 okay this is really interesting guys Okay, after Jesus' resurrection and ascension to heaven, 120 disciples that were gathered in Jerusalem chose a successor to Judas Iscariot to be among the special 11 disciples who were witnesses of Christ's entire ministry. So when they were at that, that time period, so 
and the Pentecost, about 120 were gathered in the upper room when the Holy Spirit fell on them, came through the windows like, you know, a mighty a Russian wind. When the Holy Spirit fell on them, there 120 were gathered in the upper room. So guys, the outlet, the electrical outlet, it was on the ceiling. What I saw on the, you know, I was laying on my back and that's what I saw on my ceiling. And, um, and that's interesting because this could, this, the Lord could be pointed to the whole, the Pentecost, you know, we're in the Pentecost time frame. And so the 120 disciples in the upper room, when the, the Holy Spirit fell on them, that is the, um, the Lord could be pointed to the Pentecost time frame. And I believe the key, the key could be actually nailing down the true date of Pentecost. Um, that could be really important. Like, the tr I mean, all the calendars are mixed up and stuff. I don't really pay attention to all the calendars and stuff. I'm not really, that's not my, I'm not really good at that. But the key may be actually finding the true date of Pentecost, guys. And um, so that really caught my eyes. So the whole 120 volts and then the whole 120 disciples. Because what is the electrical outlet provides electricity to run a device? What is, you know, the Holy Spirit falling on someone? That's, you know, that's like a surge of electricity. And literally when I initially got saved, that's what it, it felt like in a lot of ways when the Holy Spirit initially filled me. I was, um, went on for several months, upwards of even a year, just very extreme, you know, euphoric, very, um, happy, um, energized, literally like it, electricity surging through you. Like at night I'd, I'd, you know, I'd get very little sleep and yet I'd feel energetic and I would have a, a lot of energy and I would have, you know, racing thoughts, um, almost like download of information. And that way, you know, after I got saved, that went on for several months, maybe upwards of like a year. Like it was going on for a good while. So a sur the surge of the Holy Spirit, you can kind of compare that to a surge of electricity. So this outlet was on the ceiling. So it represents from, you know, from heaven, from, you know, from heaven, from up there. And so this may be a Pentecost connection. And also here, um, 120 is a factor in the number of kingdom of Judah captives who returned to Jerusalem in the land of Palestine from Babylon. Um, then there's also when Ezra the prophet came back from Babylonian captivity, he determined that the only way he could keep knowledge of God active for Jews was to have copies of the scriptures. So um, he led to determine, um, so in doing this process, to aid him in this task, Ezra decided to create what was known as the Great Synagogue. The Great Synagogue with Ezra as the leader was a group of 120 Jewish leaders who led the effort to officially collect and edit the writings that would become what we call the Old Testament. So I found that pretty interesting too. But definitely the, the, the 120 disciples in the upper room, when the, you know, the Holy Spirit fell on them, you know, Pentecost, and then... Um, and then the whole 144,000, that also caught my eye for personal reasons and stuff. But, um, so yeah, guys, um, I wanted to go ahead and let y'all know about that. So, um, if y'all have any input, please let me know. It's pretty strange. Usually in the wake and visions, I don't get wake and visions that often. But usually the, I, I don't wake up to the point where I can see, like, my room surroundings. Usually when I have them, it's, you know, I'm in a completely, the Lord showing me a completely different scene. Um, I mean, where I'll still be aware of, that I'm being presented something, but it's, it's, I haven't woken up to the point where I can see like my room surroundings. Like this has happened. Maybe I, I know it happened maybe around Easter, probably around, around a couple of years ago where I had seen like a, um, a green digital clock essentially the display of a green digital clock and in my room I have a red digital clock but it was green and it was I think the seconds were counting down or well the minutes because and then and then I think maybe a day after that I had seen the like zero colon zero six maybe it might have been six zero colon zero six so that would be like what six minutes or whatever but this was maybe like a couple years ago but that was literally, I was seeing, I'd woken up to the point and I had seen that on the wall, literally like on the, um, you know, my ceiling wall, whatever, a green digital clock. 
And so this is, you know, it happened again where I'd woken up to the point where I could see my room surroundings and I saw this two plug electrical outlet on my ceiling in my room. So if you have any input, please let me know. And I, I thank y'all for listening, guys. Um, you know, I I pray I'll have a, a good day and um, a good night and a, a decent weekend. And um, if you have any input, let me know. And just keep following the Lord day in, day out. And, um, you know, rest in Him and His promises. And realize that the, um, you know, the time it truly draws near. And so um, I'll catch y'all later. God bless in the name of Jesus.